now let's discuss about a very short topic which may be asked in your why was sometimes examiners may ask you that give some example of the parasites which enter through the skin of the man so there are various 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 parasites which gain access through the human uh, to the human body through skin via different means and they cause different infections so we will classify them into two one is that uh, one is that about those parasites who directly penetrate the skin and the second one is that who need a parasite i mean who need a vector to get transmitted to the through the skin to the human body so first come to the uh, those parasites which directly penetrate into the skin so the example of those is the ankylostoma duodenal the nicator americanus which are nothing but the hookworms okay these are nothing but the hookworms so ankylostoma duodenal is the old world hookworm and nicator americanus is a new world hookworm is the new world hookworm n for n nicator americanus okay then Strongyloides starcorelis. This is also a nematode. This also gets entry into the human body directly through penetrating the intact skin. Then cutaneous larva migraines. The cutaneous larva migraines, the causative organisms are the Ankylostoma brasiliensis, the Ankylostoma caninum, and the Nathostoma spinigerum. Spinigerum. So sometimes they ask you a short note about the cutaneous larva migraines. Also, I will make a separate video for that. But for uh, for the time being, you just remember that these organisms also enter into the human body directly through the intact skin by direct penetration through the intact skin. Then schistosoma also gets direct entry through the intact skin. Then Draconculus medinensis also enters through the direct. Uh, di also enters directly into the body through intact skin so these are the organisms which gets direct entry into the human body through intact skin by direct penetration by direct penetration then come to the those parasites which need some vector to uh, transmit them directly through the skin of the human body so by vectors, the parasites which are transmitted are the plasmodium species which causes malaria, the leishmania species which causes the visceral leishmaniasis, trypanosoma species which causes the sleep sickness. Uh, so plasmodium species, the vector is our, you know, anophilis. Then for leishmania, it is the sand fly. For trypanosoma, it is CC fly. Then again for Ucheria bancrofti and Brugia malai, it is uh, you know our mosquitoes mosquitoes cause this transmission of these Ucheria bancrofti and Brugia malai then Lua loa and Oncocerca volvulus so these are all the parasites which gets entry through the uh, you know uh, which gets entry to the human body through the skin but via a vector but via a vector okay so these are all the parasites which gets into to the human body through the skin one by direct penetration and the second by vectors so if someone asks you please cite these examples before them they will be happy to hear these names that's all for this